This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Community College in the APG Federal Credit Union Arena. The MIAA Conference Championship game is a familiar matchup. The St. Francis Panthers coming out of the Red Division this year and a record of 32 and 5. Mount St. Joe's top seeded in the MIAA Conference and won the Red Division at 26 and 6. Mount St. Joe's won both meetings this year, including a matchup. Last week on February 15th, they was able to hold off the Panthers by three at home to win the top spot in this one. A good one. Tip off. St. Francis got it first. West going all the way to the lane. He lays it in for two. Two nothing lead. St. Francis in their row, black jerseys. Now St. Joe's, running back over the year. Lost a lot of talent for James Bishop. PCL, play the year, kicks it inside the shot. And it's tied at two. Here comes the ace. Adrian Bowen. Off the screen for Murphy. Swings it back over to Jones. Jones against Belfort. Interesting matchup here. West inside. West up. Tipped and missed. Murphy, offensive rebound. He's shooting two. A two shot foul coming up for the senior Jason Murphy. The Mount St. Joe student session on the upper side over there. Getting that thing, doing that thing over there. It's always fun to see. A packed house here for this. 
MIA and BCL rivalry game. First shot went in. 3-2 game for the Panthers. Trying to win number 33 for the BCL. Take place this coming week. Second shot did not go. Bell forward with the rebound. Austin Crowley running the point full time this year from Mount St. Joe's. And a magnificent season. Swings it back. Bishop. Double. Back over. Swings inside the car. The ace forces a jump ball. And stick to Mount St. Joe's. What a play that was. What a play there. Side turns it over. West back to Brown starting the day. That one did not go. The ace with it. Ball went inside. The layup did not go. Rebound the car. Brings it back to Balfour. Balfour back to Crowley. Crowley shoots it and hits. Also Crowley puts the two up. And it's four to three. Mount St. Joe's. The Gales. And BCL play is, will be the third seeded team there. That's a three from Brown. That one did not go. Rebound to Crawley. Crawley stopped out. Ball back to St. Francis. What a rivalry game between these two teams. And we have done some amazing matchups with them over the years. And this is part of another chapter here. Brings it over to Brown now. Brown against Bishop. The ace drives, shooting two. Adrian Baldwin at the line, shooting two shots. St. Francis will be the top seeded team in the MIA, and excuse me, in the BCO playoffs. As they start Wednesday in the respective high seeds. And that Loyola Friday and next Sunday. We'll be there for that. The dice line never that first shot goes in. Second shot here to give the Panthers a one-point lead. Spin out. Foul four. Bringing it out. Back over Crowley. Crowley against Brown. Bishop against Ace. The Ace trying to get the steal. Bishop, no way. The BCL play it again. Puts it in. James Bishop going down to LSU next year in Louisiana. And the BCL play of the year. Putting it in to give out St. Joe's a 6 4 lead. Jones, no good. Back the other way. Swings it. Bishop lays it in. Eight to four. We got Mount St. Joe's early in the season in December, and boy, and the maturing process has done well. Once again, Coach Flashy doing his thing. Jones blocked and a turnover. The ace right back gets it. He pulls up for three. Spanned out on him. Murphy trying to chase for it, could not. Crawley got it now for the Gales. Crawley all the way. The first layup did not go. Jason Murphy picks up the ball off the rebound. Baldwin swings it. Inside the Jones, pull up and hits. The BCL defensive play of the year. Two times hits that one. Eight to six game. Crawley. Double. Inside. Ball batted. Gonna stick and stay with Mount St. Joe. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Here comes Jordan Toes. Like some disciplinary action was made to the start. He's able to come in now. Side car swings it back out to Johnson. 
Johnson against Toes. Johnson breaks past Toes. Try to put it up, no good. West with it. West back to Air Toes. Missed it. Murphy. He's shooting too. Jason Murphy at the line to shoot a pair here. Six game between these two rivals. First shot in there. <laughs> One game, eight to seven. Johnson gets it up to Bishop. Tapped out. It's going to stick with Mount St. Joe. Bishop passed it over. Inside, that one did not go there for Brown. The ace. In between that, and it's going to stick and stay with Mount St. Joe's. Bell for inbounds. Back over to Bishop. Bishop inside. Missed the layup wide. Brown. He tried it. Nope, they call a foul instead. So the ball also hit the top of the side of the backboard. Hamlin looked like he's about to come in the game. The ace. One point game. He swings it over to Jones. Jones inside. West with it. Push it up. And it gets the road. Jamal West gives St. Francis a one point lead. 9-8. Off the screen, Johnson double. Balfour got it. Balfour back over. That's a travel. Chairs walk. And the ball going back over to St. Francis and Rashid Jones inbounding. Back over to the ace. the screen. Inside the West. West. Spin move. Missed it high. Out of bounds. Going to stick with St. Francis. 2.24 left in the first. You know when these two teams get at it, it's going to be hot. It's going to be heavy. Right, now the inbound. Toes to West. Back to the ace. Falling against Johnson. Pulls up off the glass, no good. And here comes Mount St. Joe's here. Bishop. We got a packed house. We're at the APG FCU Arena. Bishop for three. Hits it. That's the need. With James Bishop saying he learned a lot from his former teammates, Gerald Morsell and Sticks, Jalen Smith, and being a leader. Inside, that one tipped and missed the toes. Bishop gets it back to Hamlin. Hamlin inside. He missed the layup wide. Back over. Jones all the way. Foul before the shot. 14 foul against Mount St. Joe. Constitution is back for Leanne for both sides. <coughs> Chad Brown. Back over the toes. Over to the ace. Baldwin kicks it. 
Jones from way downtown. Tipped and missed. Jordan Toes offensive rebound. Did not go. Brown. Jump ball against Toes. That looked like it's going about St. Joe's way, and it is. They actually call a foul instead against St. Francis. That's their first team foul of the game. 117 here left in the first. And this is definitely what you want to see here. Yeah. Both teams correct myself. Actually, my A. Inside. Out of bounds. In the program, they got both teams in the red division. Pull up by chairs. No good. Hamlin with the offensive board. Hamlin against Brown. Brings it back. Bell four. Hamlin for three. Hits it. Hamlin, the freshman, puts it in. And it's a 13-9 game with seconds left here in the first. Jones back to toes. Back to the ace. Swings it back over. Jones inside. That one tipped and missed. Belfort with the rebound. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds left here in the quarter. Belfort against Toad. And a foul. Second team foul against the Panthers. goes out. Murphy comes back in for St. Francis. Four-point lead for the Top City Gales. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Bishop against the ace. Bishop drives. Missed the layup. The top goes. Will Sykes. They throws it up from mid-range. No so after one, Mount St. Joe's mastery if St. Francis continues up 15 to 9 as we go into the second quarter. Thank you here for watching us here on the show. Check us out on all our social media, the Twitter and Instagram at Die Sporting Net. And of course our official Facebook page, Die Sporting Network, and right here on YouTube. Subscribe today. The Die Sporting Network. Right here, the best sports action here in the Baltimore Metro area. The second quarter comes to be. It's amazing how both teams are just master tree over the other right now. And it's amazing what happens in that. How you doing? How you been? It's the second quarter. About to get underway. Fifteen nine game. And St. Francis will get the ball first to start the second quarter. I said again, packed house here at the APG FCU Arena. Over to the ace now. Toes. Toes against Bishop. Over to Brown. Bowling for three. Tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Murphy. Got it. Jason Murphy lays it in. A little hook shot action. It's a 15 to 11 game for Mount St. Joe. Hamlin gets it from Balfour. Hamlin drives, pull up, hits it. How about the freshman tonight? Getting it done. 17-11 game. Toes. Back over to Brown. Brown. Shooting two. 15 foul against the Gales. First shot 
Chicago. Second shot in there. So it's a four point game. About four against Jones. Swings it back over to chairs. That's a three from Bishop. Tipped and missed. Rebound to Montague. Over to the ace. A lot of size in the game now from out for St. Francis. The ace. Front end miss. Jordan Cole throws it down in the middle. Let the air show commence. Two point game. Bishop back over. Bishop in the corner, likes it, pulls up. Yellow pies there, no good. Rashia Jones got it down, bringing it up the court, back the other way. Foul against Mount St. Joe's. That's his 16th foul, one more. We put St. Francis at the one and one. one. the inbound. Oh, oh. ML over to Jones. Off the screen for Montague. Rashid Jones off the glass, no good. Murphy blocked away. Batted back to Balfour. Balfour against the ace, Andrew and Toast. Stay with Mount St. Joe's. Jordan Toe looked like he stepped out when he had the ball. And it's going to stick and stay with the Gales. And they're in. Side. Belfour from top of the key. Front end miss. The ace with the rebound. Back over to Toes. Toes pulls up. That one tipped and missed. Montague with the offensive rebound, but it's on the deck now. It's a jump ball. Let's see who gets it. So he's ready for session arrows going. I think St. Francis will keep it. And they will. They will on their end. Toes. And the ace is foul. That's seven. Team fouls. Shot here for the ace. Got it. We are dead even at 17. Balfour almost lost it. Kept it inside. And a travel on sight. Dead even at 17, right? 520 left and a half. 
What a game indeed. The ace. Right over the to toes. Toes, spin move. Spin out. Foul is called against St. Francis. 13 foul on the Panthers. Over to Brown and back to Crawley. Crawley back to Hamlin. Hamlin drives, pulls up, hits again. How about the freshman getting it going? See, that's a seven point so far. And Mount St. Joe's back up by two. Here comes the ace. Bowling inside! Lays it in and ties it up at 19. Crawley. Back over to Brown. Back over to Crawley again. Crawley leading the break. Inside! Two shots coming up for the sophomore point guard. Shot foul to Crawley, first shot in there. Lead back to the Gales. Second shot in there. 21-19, a two-point lead again. again. Gets the drop. Dead even at 21. Bell four. Trying to escape. Bell four. Hamlin pulls up again. Spinned out. Offensive rebound to Brown. Bell four from top of the key. That tipped and missed. Jordan Toes gets it. Back over the ace. Try to behind the back pass. It's going to stick and stay with St. Francis. That's what I call. That is the right call. Murphy missed it high. Brown had it, and then Jordan Toes gets it. Off the knee, kick ball. St. Francis keeps it. 3.34 left, 19 seconds on the shot clock in there. Airmail to the ace. Ace against Bishop. Missed it high. It's going around St. Joe's that time. Dead even at 21. Time out by St. Francis. And we are dead even at 21 or 328. Here left in the half be on the dice for the network. But thank you for joining us for the 24th NIAA A Conference Championship game here at the campus of Harford Community College at the APG Federal Credit Union Arena. Man, what a, what a game. We expected as much. There's no shot that this one is tight, close. Two teams rival each other. Most of the time, they usually, they're used to seeing each other three times a year. Not here in the MIA, still in the BCL, in the Walmart Catholic League playoffs.
Tried to time out. Mount St. Joe's. Get it? Shot clock. Should reset itself for 35 seconds. And it does now. We are back for play. Swings it over. And now Crawley brings it up. It's Jordan Toad. Crawley. Over the chair. Back to Bishop. Bishop against Ace. Pull up. Shooting team. 15 foul against St. Francis. at the line. Front end miss. Second shot in there. One point lead for the Gales. Toes back to the ace. the toes. Sandwich. Ball on the back. Still rolling. Turns it over. Timeout by Mount St. Joe's. So 2.51 left. Quick 30 second timeout. One point lead for the Gales. What a matchup indeed. We got Mount St. Joe's early here against Gersell after they rebounded against the loss against Gonzaga. And see that team from then to now is an amazing feat. Not only offensively, but defensively as well. Really has turned up the pressure. And we've got St. Francis, as you've seen here on the Dodgers Network, throughout the season. And one thing about the Panthers, they're going to keep coming at you. And playing their style of basketball. It's always one of the things, what will break first? And then throughout this one, we're going to find out what does. Bell four. We're inbound the ball from Mount St. Joe's. Crawley. Back over the chair. Bishop. Inside, shooting two again. Ace foul. It's his second. Two shot foul. First shot for Bishop. Hits it. Second shot in it. 24-21. Baldwin, pull up. Shooting two. First shot in there. Got it. One point game. Back over, almost picks it. 
Foul for the Browns. Slams it down. Three point lead for St. Francis. Excuse me, three point lead for Mount St. Joe's over St. Francis. 26 22. We're at the two minute mark for the first half. Off the screen. Rasha Jones. Staten. Fake set. Lost it. Here comes Bishop. Bishop pulls up. He's shooting too. 17th foul against St. Francis. Both teams in the one and one now. First shot in there. Second shot in there. Walking in the game. Biggest lead for the Gales right now at 5, 28 to 23. 147 here left in the first half. Here, Jones. A little bargain. Jones. Double. Back to the ace. Ace against Hamlin. And Brown. Got it. I think he stepped out. I think he stepped out. Actually. The way you look at it, it's Mount St. Joe's ball. Back over. Foul is called. Of Jones. Balfour comes to the line to shoot the line. Oh. First shot in there. 29-23. This is looking similar to the first meeting between these two teams. My St. Joe really dominated. West over to the ace. Flames. Tolls pulls up. Hits it. Bell four. He walks. Traveling call. Jones. Now to the ace. Looking for West. He got him. He just like travel. Ball going back the other way to the Gales. Bow four. At the screen. At the Bishop. Bishop. Drive. Lays it in. Shot clock is off. Ball went for three. Hits it back. The ace. Using the trump card right there. Bishop. Three. Two. Pull up. With eight tenths of a second left and a half. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta let him shoot. Oh, 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 oh. 
Fish up at the line, shooting three free throws. First shot, in there. Up in there. Second shot here to make it a six point lead. Front end miss. There you go. Third shot in there. Thirty five. That's the half. Thirty four. Twenty eight lead. Football St. Joe's. And the second half of this 24th MIAA Conference Championship game is coming back here on the Dinosaur Network. And stick and stay right here. Second half, about to get in the way. 34 28, you see up there. The MIAA Conference Championship game. Mount St. Joe's. Top seated. And in the Red Division up. On that counterpart, the two seed in the Red Division. St. Francis, Curl, Crawley, back over the ball for Crawley gets it back again. Back inside, Bishop got it now. Pull up jumper, front end miss. Curl, Crawley with the offensive rebound, Bishop again. That one didn't go either. The ace grabs the rebound this time. Ball went against Bishop. That's a three from Jones, no good. Chad Brown. She was one of the starters today. Usually coming off the bench with a big one there. It's a four-point game. Jumper. Got it. Wesley Chairs. Getting it in as more crowd. Here comes the ace. Bishop again, taking the challenge on each other. Inside, West Duck! Crawley smashes it away from our St. Joe's. Six point lead for the Gales. Bishop, back to Crawley. Melfort, Crawley pulls up, tipped and missed. Brown gets it back. Swings it over to Jones. Jones inside high, no good. Rebound back to Crawley. Swings it up. Bishop's alone. That's two points for him. 38 30 lead. How about Mount St. Joe's here? The Gales looking strong during this one. Trying to get the MIA conference shot for the second time in three years. In this building two years ago beating Mount St. Big Mount Carmel, excuse me, that layup goes for the ace. 38-32. Talking lot jam, a lot of folks in the house. Inside a foul is called. First team foul against St. Francis. 538 left here. In the first. Toes back in the game. Brings it back, Crawley. Bishop. Crawley inside, missed it high. Rebound to Jones. Jones bringing it up, coast to coast, swings it, swings it down as West. From all West, throws it down. It's a session game, a four point advantage here. Crawley. Back over to Balfour. Crawley pulls back up. Back on. Brown. Long arms. Got the rebound, but couldn't get the finish. Toes back to the ace. 
Baldwin pulls up. Tipped and missed. West inside looking to grab it. Yeah, it's going to stick and stay. St. Francis on there. Toes inbounds here for St. Francis. Back over to West. West drives. Spin move. And one. Guess what it is? A two-point game. Oh my. Three-point play goes. It's a one-point game. You know it. Mount St. Joe, St. Francis. The rivalry over the years. They're on the backs on the network. Another classic coming your way. Side pull-up jumper. Crawley, no good. Toes with the rebound. Bringing it back up. Toes trying to break through. Almost turned it over. Next away, jump ball. It's going Mount St. Joe's way. Crawley brings it up here. Belfort. Crawley. Back to Bishop. Bishop against the ace. He is taking the assignment today, hasn't he? Bishop inside. Out of the level. The BCR player of the year. Gets inside and gets the A1 to drop for him. Timeout by St. Francis. 354 left in the third, a three-point game. 40-37, Mount St. Joe's. Mastery of St. Francis continues. The MIA Conference final game. Timeout. Bishop shooting the and one. Gets it back. Three point game. The ace brings it up. Takes it back over to Jones. Jones all the way. Spinned out. Bishop over to Belfour. Back to Hamlin. Back over to Belfour. Couldn't elevate there. West gets it. For St. Francis. Three fourteen left in the third. Inside the West. Reversal goes. From all West. 40-39 on point game. Three. It's in a huge shot. Ah, the 
sophomore point guard. Uh, time out by Mount St. Joe's this time. 51 left. 43 39. Four point game. Oh, man. You know the fourth quarter in this one. There's Lumi Lawrence. and two shots coming up. Gets it now. Back over to Bishop. Swing over to Hamlin. Balfour. Crawley. Shot clock is plenty of time. 16 on. Balfour. Bad it. Nice play by the freshman. 10 seconds on the shot clock. 2.11 left on the game clock. Bishop blocked from behind by Toes. Offensive rebound of Sykes, no good. West is down. i make sure he didn't get hurt. The ace for three. That's it. The lead to St. Francis. A one point game. A one point game. Now the pressure's really cranked up. Bishop hits it back. And now St. Joe's go back on by one. Fourth quarter, Lumi Lodge here in this one. The ace back up. Inside the West. Back to the ace. West, alone. Flies it down. A long point lead back to St. Francis. Hey, what a game. What a championship game. Bishop against Bowen. Bell four. Rebound to West. 104 left in the third. The fourth quarter setting up to be a dandy. The ace. Ball went back. It's high. West gets it in. Time out by Los Angeles. 48 45. 52.8 left. That's the good news. We still got a quarter of play left. It's still anybody's game. No question about that. Pack House and a B P G F C U Arena. Game high intensity.
timeout. 52.8 left. So, Los St. Joe's will inbound here. That's a three for Bishop. It's it. Bishop right back. Ties it at 48. Oh my. The ace. And a foul. 14 foul against Mount St. Joseph. And foul's not an issue yet. against Bishop. Base for three. Hits it back! Three. Hop! Bishop! One more time! No good! And that's going to be the quarter. And a three. Three point game. Anybody ball game here in this one. What an amazing third quarter you just witnessed here on the Nine Twenty Network. Next time you'll see us, the finale of our February run to the playoff series. Oakland Mills against Dundalk. You'll see that game Wednesday night on the Nine Twenty Network. Right before the playoffs began and then the BCL semifinals at Loya on Saturday. We're hoping to see St. Francis against Loya. And then St. Louis Gretti against Mount St. Joe. Mike can get MPSSA sectional quarterfinal game in or an well, independent matchup in. We, we will see how that goes. We will have an MPSSAA sectional quarterfinal matchup for you coming up on the Dice Learning Network as well. So, stay tuned to that. Things will be coming at you. Fourth quarter. Hot to get. Underway. The ace brings it up now. Ace playing. Floater! No go. Foul is called though. He's coming up to shoot two. St. Francis trying to get their rival, Mount St. Joe's. No shot in there. Second shot. Biggest lead for St. Francis. Five. 53, 48. Crawley. Hamlin. Crawley drives. And side spin out. The ace gets it back. Off the screen. Back over, inside, and Rush puts it in. And the eighth, come on, West show here. Seven point lead for the Panthers. Hamlin, pull up, slips away. Back over to the ace. Six 
50. Ball went against Bishop. Ball went inside the layup. Goes! The ace! Put it on now! Nine point lead for the Panthers! St. Francis. Pauly. Hamlin. Belfour inside. Pauly fakes. Pull up jumper. Hits it. New shot from Mount St. Joe's, keeping them prevent striking distance down seven now. Six minutes left in this one. Swings it back over. No foul. Foul is called. up nine and they're trying to get number five and the MIA A conference game action. Mount St. Joe's had a lead in this game. They actually was up at one point a seven. And Francis fought back. And gotten a lead here. Back over to Crowley. Crowley drives. Bell four. Brown tried to pick it off. Gonna stay with Mount St. Joe's. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Ball four, back over, spin out there, on chairs. So to the ace. Inside, turns it over. Bishop got it over to Hamlin. Hamlin doubled and fouled. 13 foul against St. Francis. And I believe it's the third one on the ace as well. This on him. For three, no good. West with the rebound. West. Keeping his dribble. Toes. Rice Jones. Step from under. It's going to stay. No, up away. Reversal calls there. Let's St. Jones get it back. Crawley. 
fakes it back over. Farley inside, got the rope. Back up, final down. 59 52, St. Francis up by seven. Right near the halfway mark of the quarter. Halfway mark of this game as well. West, behind the back pass, plays it into Stanton. And with the finish there, Bishop off the glass and in. Timeout by the Gales. 352 left, 61 to 54. My, my, my. What a game. What a game of high importance here. Sixty-one fifty-four. Check it out. What a matchup here between these two Baltimore City rivals, BCL and IAA conference rivals as well. Swings it. Brown now. So the ace gets it back. Inside to West. West against Hamlin. Spin move. Kiss on the side. From all West, putting it all together today. Nine point lead for the Panthers. Swings it back. Johnson, Hamlin. Hamlin against Crawley. Crawley splits the defense. Blocked there by West. And the ace gets it back. And a foul. 17 foul. Right against Mount St. Joe's, St. Francis. That line should be one on one. 303 left in this one. And this one has been as good as advertised. The ace at the line now. Shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. First shot, and now. Ten-point lead, biggest lead. Second shot, and now. Time out. Let's go, out of time out. Substitution. Crawley. He's now buying some time. Crawley. Hamlin. The side. Two shots coming up. 15 foul here. And now, first shot. Second shot, spin out. So one of two, 10 point lead as West. Whoa, look out. Allen was trying to get the ball, the ace. And St. Francis gets it back. Swing.
brings it. Brown inside, didn't get the finish. That ball is called. He replays on the goal. As you know, foul is called instead. And the one and one is in effect still for St. Francis. <laughs> First shot for Brown, no good. 2.30 left. So Joe's gonna get him. Inside the layup goes for Hamlin. Match number six play again for the, the freshman. Double team, toes over to Brown. Stanton, toes here. Toes doubled, and over to Jones, no foul. Ninth team foul against Mount St. Joe's. Marshall Jones, the senior at the line, shooting the one-on-one. First shot, in there. Second shot here. Got it. Ten point game again. Crawley. Johnson from downtown. No good. West with the rebound. Last over the to toes. Toes. Lay it in, baby. Four point lead. Lost it. Turned it over. And a foul. Fifteen foul against Mount St. Joe's. One thirty-three lead for St. Francis. Winning their fifth from our AAA Conference Championship. They're tied at rival by St. Joe's at five. First shot from Stanton. And then there. St. Joe's defeated twice St. Francis this year in the regular season with no cigar. Second shot in there. 71 57. That's a three. No good. Offensive rebound there. Back over, and Bishop got it in there in a timeout. 121 left in this one. St. Francis up 12. They can hold. They get their fifth with my A. A conference championship their first. That's 2016. Had that amazing cast on the team. That won it. Back to game action. St. Francis trying to wrap it up. Yeah, that's still drive on my St. Toes. 
over to the ace. Back over to Brown. Brown drives. Back inside to West. What a game for him. Hamlin. Swings it back to Bishop. Foul is called. It's only the 15th foul against St. Francis. So still got two more until the one on in the fact now St. Joseph's over the foul limit. And St. Francis in the double bonus. Bishop pulls up. Tipped and miss. Rebound to West. Back to the ace. Two shots coming up for Adrian Ballin. 53.1 left. The all-black Panther today. Getting it done. A lot of these guys, local hardware. They was able to win uh, the BCL a year ago. We was there for that. Now the one that wasn't in the trophy case for this squad here. Only the seniors. Some of them might not even here for that one. Second shot by the ace. Got it. 73-59. Crawley. Back over. Johnson pulls up. Tipped and miss. Offensive rebound to chairs. He gets it in. 75-61 game. Jones, Toes, you know what's about to happen. Oh, foul there. Denied Toes at a dunk. He's coming to shoot up two anyway. 35.6 left until the Panthers officially can celebrate. MIA Conference title number five. It's also an intentional foul, so it's a technical as well. First shot, in there. First shot up in there. Second shot here. We go up by 16. Yeah! Yeah! Way to boom that! Toes, shoot the free throws and now. Toes up the west. Back over to Brown. Rashid Jones for three. Tipped and miss. Bishop. Cuts the defense. And it's going to stay with Mount St. Joe's 23. 23 left. Going back down Eagle Street. We got it back down Eagle Street. They hold it for one year. That's all they hold for. One year, that's it. They don't hold it no more. Bring us way up here. Back over to Bishop for three. He took yeah, the miss. Job, that baby. will do it. Yeah. St. Francis will have another piece of trophy in the case. Oh. On Chase Street. Oh. It's another MIA Conference Championship. It's the fifth one oh. in school history for them. And timeout St. Joe's at five. Conference champion, your St. Francis Panthers for 2018-2019. An incredible matchup between these two teams. And folks, there could be a fourth one in store next week. Mount St. Joe's will drop to 26 and 7 this season. It's far from over though. St. Francis will move up to 33 and 5. As they both will see MIA action come to a close. BCO action for them will begin this Tuesday in the BCO quarterfinals. The MIA Coffin Trophy. St. Joe's have had an amazing season so far. Season continues on with the BCL playoffs there. starting on Wednesday.
emotion we have for St. Francis. We've been a part of it during the season. They're gradually in the east now. What a game. What a series of matchups. Motion is one high during the season. Quite cool. All right, the MIA Conference trophy. Some point trying to get trying to get to him at some point. One guy got So the MIA conference championship goes to St. Francis. For a fifth time in school history. <laughs> Trophy's gonna get passed around a little bit. Nice to meet you. Always a great moment. I had to kind of step out of the line view there. Great moment here at the APG Federal Credit Union Arena. Yeah. Have a good one, coach. Yeah, good seeing you. Good seeing you, baby. Stay here. Good luck with everything. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, good. yeah. yeah. Get, like I said, give me a holler for the summertime. Good, good. Right. Yeah. St. Francis, your 2019 MIA Conference Champion. We say so long to you here for now on the Dye Sunday Network. Oakland Mills and Dundalk, they're now the February went to the playoff series. Coming up later this week and then the MPSSA playoffs and the BCL semifinals and finals coming your way here on the Dye Sunday Network. Your home to the best sports action in the Baltimore Metro area. St. Francis Panthers, once again, your 2019 MIAA Conference champion. Fifth time in school history, the first time since 2016. Follows here, the Mars Dye saying so long to you here on the Dye Sweating Network. And we will see you down the road. This is Dye Sporting Network. What, what, what?